Back home, the Veterans Outreach Center on South Avenue recently completed a $7 million renovation at some of their facilities, including a new fitness center and upgrades to their shelter at Liberty Landing. Christian Garzone joins us now in the studio with the story of how the VOC helped three veterans through tough and troubling times after they left the military. Christian. Well, Teresa, the VOC has so much to offer from legal counseling, classes, job training, housing programs. The list goes on. From what we hear time and again, it's literally saved lives and pulled veterans from some very dark places. Marine Emil Anderson, a Vietnam veteran, said when he came back from overseas, it was so hard to get a job and start over, but the VOC changed all that for him way back in 1973. And after service, received housing, clothing, food, and a job. And and he continues to serve with them today as a mentor and with drug treatment court at the county. Now, Belinda Miller served in both the Army and the Navy. When she got out of the military, the VOC connected her with jobs workshops and a special class to deal with her stress. And Marine James Jenkins says the VOC kept him off the streets. He burst into tears at one point on just what the VOC has given him by giving him a place to live. I was about to lose it. But they stuck by me, oh, all of them. It's hard for me to say this like this on TV, come up where I came from. It's hard, trust me, it's hard. At one point I got, uh, uh, I went into an addiction. Um, when I came out of my addiction, they placed me at a place called the Richest House, which is just down the road. I stayed at the Richest House uh, for eight months. Um, they helped me get an apartment after I got through with the richest house down the street from there at Highland Manor. And when I left Highland Manor, I stayed there about five years and I saved my pennies. And uh, after living there five years, I bought a house. I picked up my own way of dealing with stress by cooking. And there's a veteran cooking class here now. And so I was able to dive right into that. And the VOC is located at South Ave in the city. They have a beautiful new mural to check out there as well. Teresa, right back to you. Okay, Christian, thank you. If you want to know more about the services VOC provides to members from across our region, we have this story over at rochesterfirst.com.